thanks. I'll see you later. I worked it all out. The reason I'm considered crazy, I mean, sitting here now, it all seems so clear. There was this little rabbit sitting amongst some reeds. Very carefully, I tiptoed up to it and jumped with my arms spread. But I ain't got it. I when I picked it up, my hand was splattered with yellow matter and pale blood. With the rabbit's eyes should have been just two scabby, bleeding slits. Later, my father explained there were a lot of these sick rabbits around. And if I saw any, just to hit them with the skull and the neck join, they die at once. He told me it was kind, you know, as they were in a lot of pain. Then my brother thought it'd be more fun if we made them run and threw knives at them. After a while, I threw the knife just once. The rabbit squealed, made funny little whistling sounds. My brother kicked it to death. And it happened. This uh, sensation, a spinning in my belly, a flash, a feeling of intense heat. Looking up, I saw a familiar face with a worried expression. Euphorical. My whole body tingled. I grasped the enemy by the throat and threw him down. When I woke, I was in bed. Lying next to me was my brother, wrapped in bandages. That was the first time. It got worse until I became quite mad. So, I, I discovered why I was prone to these terms. I wasn't all due to killing rabbits and despite what the psychiatrists say, incest and guilt feelings bear no relevancy whatsoever. If madness is a matter of contemporary morals, as the politicians indicate, is it ethically correct to keep me in custody till they pick all my brain in formalin? Good morning, Lizzie. You've missed breakfast. Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> oh. You've been dreaming again. You know, it's no good for you all this mental masturbation. Besides, it's messy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> lots of things are psychotic illness. But when you are psychotic, you tend to lose your sense of objectivity. If you ever had it. Most of the time you undergo this intense subjective for me. Which is very unpleasant. Is anything wrong? Ah, uh, no. You look as though you've seen a ghost. No. What? I live inside a book. When I can. I never watch television either. Of me. I have my own television up here in my head. And every time the door shuts and I lie in my bed, out it comes. It's uninfluenced by the silly bastards who run their programs. And then Harry Adler takes me through the Anacostia. Jimmy. Ah, Woodsy. Jimmy. You can talk to these eyes, <laughs> Pacifists. Mescaline friends. And then the Siddhartha goes through it all again. Shit. How do you spell existentialism? Serentinly say, wantonly say, dantonly Played a tune and he danced it around on a blow the gallows tree. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Lawrence Costigan, who at the time of his arrest was the only Zen Buddhist machine gunner in Her Majesty's Parachute Regiment. Yeah! I know the present authorities are working on a machine to identify a free thought, and soon it will be illegal to emotionalize or rationalize anything. Just have to spend your time patronizing moronic creatures like the prison guards, then, won't you? Meanwhile, I'm thinking, while well, I can, 
But you don't have to believe that because uh, I'm supposed to be socially maladjusted. Ah! I'm prone to violence! Hare Hare Rana Rana <laughs> Put the pieces together. Are you normal? Normal, 165. But apart from handing out labels, what exactly does a shrink do?